Hi guys, hope you guys are doing well today. My name is Wade, I'm from the Offer Sub support team. Um, in this video, I'm hoping to show you guys how to manage an offer and uh, uh, tell you guys all the uh, features that we provide in our platform and how to use them and what are the use cases, uh, users that you have by using them. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you guys how to create an offer and uh, I suggest you watch that before that but first of all if you are not familiar with this uh, with our platform and with what I'm talking about right now I highly suggest that you watch our first video which gives you an overview of uh, the whole platform so I'm going to use this demo login today and this is our login page in the platform I'm gonna use the demo credentials and click on login and uh, once I log into this admin panel it will take me to this page where it shows the uh, dashboard, admin dashboard. And uh, before we proceed, I want to tell you what I'm going to talk to you or cover, like some of the subtopics that I will be covering in this video. Um, I, w I want to first talk about how to get tracking URLs for the uh, offers and uh, scheduling offers, payout changes and offer status changes, blocking and allowing affiliates, sub affiliates, uh, using offer events or goals, changing offer advertisers, uh, live monitoring offer performances, adding offer creatives. Those are some of the topics that I'm willing to, uh, that I'm hoping to cover in this video. So yeah, let's uh, get started then. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys is how to generate a click or post back tracking URL or a pixel. Um, click tracking is uh, click tracking URL is what you share with your publisher or affiliate in order to get traffic to your offers. It is offer specific and mandatory to pass affiliate ID and offer ID with the URL parameters in order to generate a valid click and redirect to advertisers landing URL. You can generate uh, these by going to the uh, manage offers page under offers. First you go to offers, then click on manage offers. And then you have to select uh, which offer that you want to generate the tracking URLs for. So I'm going to select this iHeartRadio. And then you can see here it says tracking codes on the left side once the offer is loaded. Uh, the second option here under offer details it says tracking codes so when you go there you get uh, land in this page so from here you have to select the affiliate so let me select the demo affiliate so once you do that the uh, this uh, URL will be automatically generated other than these uh, required parameters, affiliate ID and the offer ID, you can add additional parameters to your tracking URL which allows your affiliate to pass additional data to your system. For example, your affiliate can use source uh, parameter uh, to pass their sub-affiliate IDs or traffic source names so you can, so you and your affiliate uh, can filter and see reports with those values. If your affiliate wants to pass their click ID to us, they can use a click ID um, parameter. And uh, if your advertiser asks you to send Google ad ID to them, you can ask the affiliate to pass it with the Google underscore AID parameter. Uh, likewise, so uh, we have uh, to all the parameters to ch uh, check all the parameters we have. You can go to this website, uh, our documentation help help dot dot com, and you can uh, try peer click tracking URL parameters. And once you click that, there's a there's a whole bunch of parameters over here. You can you know, I was talking to you about getting Google ID etc so you can go here and uh, get whatever the ID you need um, yeah and then we have the uh, post back tracking is what that's what you share with your advertiser in order to receive post back notifications to your system uh, from theirs so we have we support uh, 
we support uh, several types of uh, postback types so uh, for you to select that first you need to go uh, to the offer well you have to select uh, this type of postback that you want to receive uh, while creating this uh, the offer itself so if you want to change it now you can go to edit offer and scroll down and it says prospect tracking protocol so you can see uh, the tracking protocol that's selected now is iframe pixel so I'm going to show you what we offer here first we have server postback S2S then we have iframe pixel then HTTPS iframe pixel HTTP image pixel HTTPS image pixel those are the types that we uh, offer the the one that we recommend is the server postback S2S so once you select that um, I'm gonna click update offer and then it will be it will redirect me here and then I'm gonna show you the postback tracking codes again by going to the tracking codes clicking here and then uh, uh, this offer has an event in it two events so sign up I'll explain that in the future so once you select that this gives you the uh, postback that you need for this certain event and if you want to add more parameters you can do it over here so well I want to explain what the uh, the uh, postback types that we were offering uh, so the server postback URL is a the one that I selected for this which we recommend server postback URL is a URL you can obtain from us from here you can share it with your advertiser to set up it on their servers or dashboard um, this is the most popular and the most secure way to receive the postback from your advertiser it is uh, required to pass click ID uh, which we pass to your advertiser back to us using the click ID parameter which is over here you can replace that your advertiser has to replace that so um, in case what we this is what we recommend in case if your advertiser does not support uh, s2s postback option you can use the other options which uh, I showed you earlier you can share the HTML code generated by those for iframe pixel HTTPS iframe pixel etc and uh, that's only if they don't support this because this is what we uh, recommend um, yeah and uh, the uh, if you are using this s2s postback URL uh, you can add more parameters by clicking here add more parameters and uh, you can read through the whole bunch of thing bunch of the things we have here and just uh, if you need the advertiser ID click here and then it will be automatically added here um, and I also want to show you that uh, it is possible for you to um, generate postback tracking link for each event that you will be uh, uh, that you will have for the offer so if you don't know what events are I will be explaining that further in this video so um, let me show you um, let me go back and show you an offer which has more than one event let's go try this one and uh, yeah so once you go to ad uh, advertise the postback tracking oh uh, yeah you in this you can see new installation goal to test three so in this one um, so it says offer event ID zero so if you want to generate uh, postback tracking for the second event or goal you can just select that from here and then yeah this is it okay so now in this I want to talk to you guys about how to uh, schedule an offer status change and offer payout status change so let's assume that your advertiser is going to change one of your offer status or payout by tonight and you want to apply the same change in your system as well at the same exact time with our platform that's actually quite possible with the scheduling options that we provide including um, automatically notifying your publishers about the change that's uh, going to affect as well so uh, let's 
go here so for that you have to first select the offer that you want to do these changes for you can go to offers manage offers and um, select the offer that you want this for so in my case I'm gonna select this offer that I have and uh, you can click on the uh, change status button over here and let's say it says active now so we have pending active rejected disabled post and deleted so right now it's set to active so if you want to update it right away you can click uh, select rejected and if you want to do it right away you can select update now and click on update and the uh, status will be set the status of this offer will be set to rejected right away but say you want to schedule that you can do the exact thing on a schedule you can click on schedule change you can click on the date and time here set the time let's say 5 a.m and I'm gonna set it to Friday the 8th of May 2020 and apply and once I click on update this offer will be running until the 8th of May 2020 5 a.m. so once the time comes this uh, this uh, status of this offer will be automatically changed to rejected because of this uh, scheduled offer ch status change so uh, I'm gonna show you uh, next how to um, scheduling an offer payout chain so right now here you can see the uh, there's a payout you can click on edit payout and then it's the same as earlier it's the same as the other option you can click on update now and make changes right away if not you can click on schedule change and uh, select the date 8th of May 5 a.m. let's say 8 a.m. this time click on apply and you can make changes 10 60 payout conversion would be 820 and click on update now and uh, what will happen is it will change the the uh, offer payout to this whatever it is right now on screen from whatever it was earlier um, yeah that's how you do it it's quite simple actually it's uh, it's not rocket science it's just click the button and uh, schedule the change okay so in this I want to uh, show you how to allow or block affiliates or how to block sub affiliates so uh, sometimes you may want to block all the traffic get that you get to a specific offer from a s specific affiliate or affiliates who send you fraudulent or low quality traffic in that case you can use this uh, feature to like uh, block affiliates or sub affiliates features to block those and other than that you can also block traffic uh, from sub affiliates uh, using the source ID or uh, click URL parameter that you define so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that um, go to manage offers select the offer that you want to make changes to and once you land in this offer detail page you can see here it says allow block affiliates the uh, third from the bottom third option from the bottom click on that so I want to tell you uh, that this it says block affiliates now right this is uh, saying that because the offer status is set to uh, public anyone can join anyone can use this offer that's why it says block affiliates um, I will show you how it will be shown to uh, an offer that has private access so uh, so I'm gonna show you how to block this you can click on block affiliates and just select whoever that you want to block and click block access and yeah it will come up here it is it will say action completed and uh, the status would say blocked and now I want to show you how it would look like uh, in a private offer so let's go to the uh, offer page and then click on edit offer 
I'm just gonna sh make this uh, I'm gonna show you first so it says offer access is set to public I'm gonna make this uh, I'm gonna set it to private or required approval that uh, you, you'll get a uh, request to that in the same page but I'm gonna set it to private now and click on update offer and now I can go love block affiliates again and now instead of block affiliates it says allow affiliates so only these two affiliates has access right now and demo affiliate is blocked so uh, no one else can see it as well unless you click here and select the affiliate that you want uh, that uh, this to be seen and click allow access and you'll get this message action completed and that's it voila all these three affiliates can uh, see this and this affiliate demo uh, is not able to see it anymore and moving on I want to show you the uh, other sub option that we have which is block sub affiliates if you want to uh, block traffic by sub affiliates or uh, the source ID or any other value passing with the tracking URL uh, that you set earlier you can do that by clicking add new by going to this option of course which I will show you again uh, from the offer page you can click block sub affiliate second option from the bottom and click on add new and then you can select one of these parameters say source ID and you can put the value that uh, that you want to block traffic to and click on add and yeah it will say it's blocked now what I want to talk to you guys is how to add additional landing URLs landing page URLs and uh, enable conditional redirecting for landing pages so uh, you can manage offer landing pages by adding more than one landing page for your offer you can go to the offer that you want to make this change for uh, let me go to select an offer and then uh, on the left hand pan you can see offer URS the fourth option click on that then you can see the uh, the default link over here you can click on this green button on your right hand top says add URL then you will be redirected to this page let's say backup and you can fill out this whole thing let's say the name backup URL and then you can click here and paste uh, put a link that you want this offer to be the uh, the uh, additional landing page you can let me just copy paste uh, page here and uh, if you want you can add macros to that as well so that you can get so let's say uh, click ID I'll just add click ID over here and uh, if you want you can hide it from affiliates and uh, and you can save it so let's say I save it but before that I want to show you this enable rule based direction redirection conditional redirecting so we support rule based redirection for landing pages in other words let's say your offer is supporting two countries which are US and Australia advertisers might have two different landing URLs for these countries and you want to redirect the visitor to the correct landing page according to his or her country in that case you can define targeting your rules for each of your landing pages um, when offers hub receives the traffic to that offer our system AI will find out the landing URL that matches the visitors location browser device or platform and then it will redirect him or her to the valid landing page depending on what you set here so let's select a target let's say United States and 
and uh, you can select whatever mobile network you want Verizon and devices let's say only computer users desktops and platform let's leave it as all and you can select save once you hit save um, whoever that is from the United States using Verizon and is from a computer will be redirected to this page and all the others will be redirected to the uh, let me show you to this page that it says the default so yes that's how you do that So in this segment, I want to talk to you guys about how to use offer events or goals. So let me explain what that uh, I just said. Let's say that you're promoting an Android campaign given by your advertiser. So you will be paid for every new app installation by your advertiser. And then again, another amount again when a new user signs up. And again, when they make an in-app purchase. So you could see there, uh, first step was to if you get a new uh, app installation you get paid the second uh, new user signs up then you get paid again and for third if the user makes an in-app purchase you get paid again so you can see there were three steps so we call these steps as events so um, so to uh, we can uh, include that in the offer as well you can let me show you how to do that you can go to offers manage offer and uh, select whatever the offer that you want to add this for so I'm selecting offer subtest and then um, so in this offer you cannot see the events option so that means in this this option is disabled so I can go to edit offer So once I go here, I can scroll down to enable goal events, goal slash events. So I can enable this and I'm going to uh, name the first uh, default goal name as new installation. And then I'm going to click on update offer. So once I do that, I will be redirected. It will say offer has been updated and will be redirected to this um, offer details page. And now you can see this option called offer events. So go ahead and click on that. So once I click on that, it will show me the uh, default first event that I created earlier. It says new installation. So uh, right now it's set to if a client uses uh, this offer and clicks on it and installs it new installation the revenue is 2 USD and the payout is 1 USD so that that's the first step so now I'm gonna add another step you can click on add goal then you will be redirected to this page event details I'm gonna give it an ID I'm gonna do number two here because I have uh, the first there so the goal name I'm gonna set it as new sign up and then the revenue type I'm gonna put it as CPC and put um, five dollars and CPC here and let's say three dollars and I'm gonna click add then it will say new goal has been created you can go to offer events again and it will show you the uh, new installation new sign up and I need to add one more let's go at goal again and let's type in app purchase and let's do CPC at ten dollars CPC and six dollars here and click on add again so now you can see all the three steps I mentioned before new installation you'll get this new apps new sign up you'll get this and in app purchase you'll get this you can make changes too by clicking on edit button the blue icon here 
and yeah that's how you set offer event uh, goals for the offers that you create in this I want to show you guys how to um, add advanced payouts with offer payout groups that we offer so uh, let let me just brief what I meant by that so sometimes a simple flat payout and revenue amount may not be enough for you for some offers uh, let's say if you go to pay a different amount different payout amount by different country or device or, or uh, different affiliates or sub affiliates in cases like that you can use this uh, feature that we call offer payout group to define such uh, payouts so you could go to uh, offers manage offers and then um, select the offer that you want to do this to I'm gonna select this offer and then on the left side pan from the fifth option from the bottom under edit offer it says payout groups so once you click that um, you could click on create group button and then you will be uh, taken to this uh, page which you have to define your uh, custom payout so uh, before that let me just pull up a use case in this let's say you have an offer uh, which is looking for the conversions from uh, the United States Canada and uh, UK United Kingdom at the moment the um, the advertiser is uh, offering let's say uh, $10 per conversions for all countries that are eligible but uh, let's say now today he informed you that from now onwards they only will be paying like $5 per conversions especially only for the traffic that comes from United Kingdom while the others are going to be the same so in that case you can do what you can do is you can just type out uh, a name that you want that's I'm gonna do this as the use case I told you United Kingdom traffic from United Kingdom and then uh, applicable affiliates you could uh, select custom as well if you want then only these uh, affiliates will be able to see this but I'm gonna keep it to all and then you can uh, add the rule which you can select United Kingdom so it says you can add, to ten, add up to 10 rules to, pay, to a payout group all the rules must be validated in order to apply defined payout so uh, so you can select country device platform country device platform of a URL source affiliate ID, sub IDs and there are like um, few of the options that you could use from there and uh, select the uh, appropriate filter that you want to go with but for this use case I want to use United Kingdom which is a country so I'm gonna select country is or is not is United Kingdom okay there you go and then if if I want I can add another one I could say uh, devices and is uh, desktop only the desktop uh, traffic that comes from United Kingdom but uh, no I just want to use this United Kingdom and then the group priority I'm going to uh, leave it as it is you could uh, uh, change that the group priority to come up first or something if you are going to be adding multiple groups that you want uh, to uh, work but uh, as this is only going to be one that I want to show you guys I'm gonna leave it as auto um, and then uh, f the status should be enabled S and the visibility Pub it says public show to affiliates and if you say private it will be hidden be hidden from the affiliates so I'm gonna set it to public and I'm gonna set payouts now I'm gonna tick this set payouts now and following revenue and payout will be applied to conversions if they meet rules defined above if you leave any fields empty system will apply the default amounts so you could see here there are the, it says offer events so this is coming up because I have set two events for this so a uh, uh, test is the uh, the default event and the sign up is the 
uh, in the second event or goal so I'm gonna cha make changes for the uh, uh, default event I'm gonna go here and put five dollars that's what the amount so uh, let's say that the amount that I am uh, getting right now from the advertiser is ten dollars right that was my use case so I'm going to make changes here and put five dollars and the payout I'm gonna just put like uh, three dollars so what I did here is if the traffic that is coming from is from the United Kingdom then it will be uh, the revenue and the payout will be this so once I um, add this I can click create group and it will be added and it will say it will show you here United Kingdom traffic from United Kingdom it, it's assigned to all the affiliates and it will say the number of rules that you have and the priority status and visibility you could view and delete as well but yeah that's just uh, that's how you do it um, and if you want you can add more as well but, uh, yeah so in this I want to show you guys how to um, edit an offer that you already have and uh, how to change the advertiser that you have assigned for that so first you can go to uh, manage offers and simply select an offer that you want I'm just gonna select this offer and in here you can see under the offer name and it says active and there you can see it says buy Facebook so Facebook is my advertiser so you can see next to the name you can see a small pencil button over here when, when you click on that and then this will pop out and it will say change advertiser and from this drop down you have to just select uh, which advertiser you want to uh, assign this for and click on change and so let me just uh, change it again um, it was Facebook now I'm changing it to demo so once you click that and then it will now show you the new advertisers name uh, yeah and then now I want to show you how to edit the offer so you could just click edit offer on the left side and if you didn't see it I'm going to show you again the uh, here it says edit offer so once you click that it will take you to the same page uh, that I showed you earlier in this uh, you can do all the changes that you couldn't or you require to do um, now uh, the name the description and everything that you set at the uh, creation of this offer as well uh, and uh, once everything's done you can click on update offer and it will take you to the offer details page and it will say offer de offer has been updated on your right side So in this I want to show you how to set up custom uh, payouts and caps by affiliate. So let's say if you want to um, pay an affiliate some specific payout amount for some specific offer rather than the offer default payout or you want to add some publisher affiliate specific offer caps you can do that with our platform. So you can uh, set these through by following these steps I'm gonna show you now you could go to the affiliate the third option and click on manage affiliates and then select the affiliate that you want to make changes for I'm gonna click on this and then and then you can go to offer payouts the second option over here and you could see there's one uh, that is already set but I'm gonna delete that and now it says no data available that means there's nothing said so you could still click on this add button on your right side top corner in green and then it will take you to this uh, page and the uh, you could see the affiliate is uh, unchangeable uh, because it's or we came through that affiliates account so I could select the offer 
where I want to make these uh, specific changes for so I'll select um, one okay and then if there are offers uh, events or goals in that offer it will be shown here as well so it shows uh, some uh, goals here events so I'm gonna select one of these uh, new sign up and then I'm, I can put payout per conversion and revenue per conversion so the payout um, is three dollars that is set right now and the revenue is five dollars so I'm gonna make it uh, the payout I want to make it two and the revenue I'm gonna leave it as it is so if I leave it as it is it will be the default uh, by the offer which is five dollars and uh, if I want to put a uh, revenue share for dynamic payout uh, I can put the percentage here as well and but, oh, before that I want to show you if I select this uh, the default uh, event the first event then I could add uh, caps as well so I can just toggle this and uh, so I need to set the conversion payout for conversion and uh, revenue again as well because I selected a different event over here so I'm gonna put uh, the payout as 2 and the revenue I'm gonna make it 5 S and then if when I toggle this at caps then I could select one of these which are daily conversions monthly conversions total conversions daily payout monthly payout total payout daily revenue monthly revenue total revenue I'm gonna select uh, monthly conversions and I'm gonna put 100 and that's the cap I'm gonna add and it will say monthly conversions 100 added and then manual approve ratio so um, I'm gonna put that to 30 percent uh, now I'm gonna put make it 50 actually so 50 percent of the uh, conversions that are coming through with this will be uh, uh, automatically approved and the uh, and the the other half would be uh, manually would be uh, manually approved and yeah and you can put a percentage for revenue share as well but I'm gonna leave it empty and once you click save it will take you back to this page and it will say new custom payout is uh, added and you can see here the one we added right now is shown so in this I want to show you how to um, add offer creatives for certain offers and how to monitor their um, offer performances live so first I'm going to show you how to add offer creatives um, you could go here and uh, click on manage offers and then um, select the offer that you want um, selected one and you could see here it says creatives creative zero because it says no creative av creatives available for this offer at the moment because there are no creatives so you could see here there's a button as says that says add creative the green button you could click on that and then you could give a name for it uh, creative banner and then you could select uh, out of this drop down you could select image banner email creative HTML add text link XML feed offer thumbnails other files so um, I'm gonna give it as an image banner and I could fill the um, width and uh, the height too so uh, let me just give a uh, square number 150 150 and then I could um, uh, upload the file from this so I can select choose file and select uh, picture and if I want to make this uh, creative private I could cl click on that so the others won't see the affiliates um, I'm gonna make keep it on public or so and I'm gonna click on upload creative and then it will be uploaded and then it will show you um, the uh, creative type a uh, name and when it was uploaded and the size as well so if you want you can download it edit it or delete it um, 
and then I want to show you let's go back to offer details I want to show you how to um, uh, live monitor the offers uh, uh, you could click on this monitor live button under creatives and then it will take you to a new uh, tab and then you could see uh, live analytics offer and the offer name and it would say the stats for today clicks unique clicks conversions uh, click through rate revenue payout and profit uh, today's earning today's performance it's uh, not showing anything it's showing zero because this is a test um, offer actually so you could see the performance live conversions the top chart and the device and geo analytics the co top countries the browsers, devices, platforms. It gives you a very uh, big detail about the, your traffic. I want to show you how to check the change log. So you could go click the last uh, tab here, the last option. It says change logs. Once you click on that, you could see all the changes that were done to this uh, that was made to this uh, offer so in here it says I made this change um, I added and uh, changed the advertiser ID from 1 to 7 and uh, you could see all those and then I changed blocked access to affiliate OL from uh, this to this you could see all the changes that were made to this uh, offer it says change tracking protocol from HTTP iframe to server so these were the changes that I made while making the video earlier so yes uh, that's it for this so I hope I covered everything that I wanted to in this video in this um, offer overview I wanted to uh, go through all the main special features that we have and actually we keep on adding features weekly depending on our client basis requirement but uh, eventually I will cover all the uh, features that we are adding and I will keep doing videos in the future as well to keep you guys updated so if you want to stay updated of what features and what uh, videos that we upload you can uh, subscribe to our channel and if you have any problems you could shoot us a mail to hello at offersub.com or support at offersub.com or i will leave our skype in the description below and uh, you can um, send us a message there or just comment uh, comment the problem that you are facing and if you want to try out our campaign uh, our platform uh, as a new user if you want to start a network as a new user we can help you with that as well or if you are trying to uh, change the platform that you are using right now and come join offer sub we can help you with that as well so you could always just uh, drop a comment or send us an email or drop us a message on Skype and uh, one of our agents will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day.